Justin. And of course, um, yeah. You know. <laughs> and next one is the organisms. Organism is actually the living thing that can actually have the both four characteristics that I mentioned about. So, how about some similar organism living together in one separate place? We call that population. Population is consists of similar organisms living in separate isolated area. And what if it's not isolated? We call that species. And a lot of species living in together in a, an environment. And we call all that interaction ecosystem. Like for example, the tropical rainforest ecosystem. How about the, a lot of ecosystem? What is the big game role? We call that bio. And the most interesting example of bio is the desert, desert biosystem. And the next step is the, the already, actually it's quite hard for me to pronounce the QK periodic and prokaryotic system. And you study in high school about this very carefully. I'm so sure of that. And here is the picture, two cells. So what is the common thing between them? I mean, the similarity. First one, they both, both have D and A. Second one, look at this. You can say that they are uh, rock ribosome. Next one, the diverse forms of them. The diverse forms. The last one. Membrane, 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 bound. As you can see, very obvious in the picture here. So that is the similarities. What is the difference, actually? The difference between the okay, and the brocade, is the first one, also about the DNA. The UK has a lot of much more complex DNA. This one is just a very simple. D and A. And the second one is, you can look at this picture here. The UK has a nucleus. And this one does come from The next step is a sign. Actually, you see here is a picture, but actually in reality, they are so different in size. Like this one is 10 times bigger. This is just one count. And the division, you know, two, there are two kinds of division, right? The fission, you need to say you just divide the cell in the heart. And the much more complex one is the mitosis. Right? So now we have the ideas of similarity and dissimilarity between the two of them. And based on this picture, you can tell all of this, right? It's easy. And the last one in defining an organism is the six kingdoms. Six kingdoms, wow, is a lot. But actually, you can remember them easily. Mm 
the first one is the Feel free to ask me. 